Hello again. Uh, so today for this short little video, I want to talk about um, reaction time, kind of how it plays into you know your fighting, martial arts, and everything, um, and some of the elements that make up reaction time. So, um, so what is reaction time in a very basic sense? You know, it's the time that it takes for you to react to something. So ideally, you want it to be as small as possible. Now, there are a few different ways you can train your reaction time. There's like exercises, there's loads of different things. You can even get apps that do these different little games where you've got to react as fast as possible. There's that game where you've got the nine different points and you've got to sort of stand there and, and like react to when the light comes and hit the button as fast as possible. Um, so you know, part like that part of reaction time, it's like the mental side to how long does it take for you to receive the stimulus to process it and to understand what it is and what you've got to do and then to actually physically move. So your actual physical movement speed as well, like the sort of the, the muscle fibers, your fast twitch, that also really helps you to react faster because you can physically move faster after you realize what's going on. A big thing that helps with uh, decreasing reaction time to things is um, also that mental side, helping you mentally process something and then figure out what you have to do faster so in, in in terms of fighting the main things that you want to react for are guarding so defending against something or avoiding it whatever and uh, counter-attacking so guarding is easy it's more instinctive to protect yourself but you have to drill and train your body to react in certain ways to certain attacks so that you react in the or that you guard in the most efficient way possible the sort of natural untrained response might be to sort of do something like this but it's quite an inefficient movement and you can't do anything else rather than just some kind of natural compacted movement like some kind of sort of block that leaves you more opportunities to do something about it and then counter attacking is a bit more complex and you do need good reaction time to be able to do it if you don't you'll sort of see the chance but not react in time to be able to take it because the window of opportunity for a counter attack is often quite small. But again, it's the same sort of thing. You need to train yourself to respond in certain ways so that you react instinctively without actually like any like big thinking. So it's just kind of a natural feeling. You just know, you see the opportunity, you just automatically kind of recognize it and go for it. So a lot of it is just drilling when it comes to reaction time, actually. Just drilling technique just like responses so you think you know you attack in this way you attack your guard in this way you see you, someone attacks you in a certain way you respond in this way and you just do it again and again and again until you're sick and tired of it but it becomes ingrained so it becomes natural for you to respond like that and then obviously like i said there's also other things you can do you can play these reaction time games to try and you know speed up in that sense but it's a very useful sort of uh, attribute to develop, very important for, you know, lots of elements of uh, fighting and martial arts. So uh, definitely recommend that you work on things like reaction time. It helps you out a lot, gives you a big boost or a big sort of advantage over other people if you really uh, train it to a high level. Uh, so aside from that, I will see you in the next one.